The military and the police on Tuesday clashed with heavily armed lawless elements believed to be members of local terrorist group Abu Sayyaf in Bohol. Three soldiers, a cop, and at least five of the armed men are killed in the clashes that started 5 a.m. The clashes are reportedly over by 1 p.m. Residents on Tuesday morning alerted the police of the presence of three pump boats along the riverside of Sitio Elaya in Inabanga town. The encounter comes a week after the government downplayed a travel warning from the United States Embassy, which discourages citizens from visiting Bohol and neighboring Cebu. Armed Forces Chief Eduardo Año says additional ground troops and sea and air assets are deployed to repel the armed group. The ASG is notorious for kidnap for ransom activities in the waters of southern Philippines. National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa earlier said the police had earlier gotten raw reports of kidnap threats in central Visayas. Self-confessed Davao Death Squad member and retired cop Arthur Lascaña says Senator Panfilo Lacson, of all people, should understand why he fled to Singapore. Lascañas, who left the country Saturday supposedly for security reasons, is reacting to Lacson's question on who funded his and his family's trip to Singapore. He says, quote, There were many who believed in him. That's why a lot of people helped him leave. It's the same with me. Many people believe me. That's why they're helping me. Lacson, then among the political enemies of former President Gloria Arroyo, left the Philippines in the wake of revived charges against him. He spent more than a year in hiding. He was implicated in the murder of publicist Bobby Desaire and driver Emmanuel Corbito. Lacson returned to the country in 2011 under the Aquino administration. Lacson says he understands the Scania situation, adding he is not questioning the retired cop's decision to flee the country. He says, quote, Anybody who feels persecuted and physically threatened is entitled to make a personal decision on self-preservation. A social weather station survey shows Vice President Lenny Robredo's net satisfaction rating has dropped to a moderate positive 26. The March survey results show more than half or 51% of Filipinos are satisfied with Robredo's performance, 27% are dissatisfied, and 19% undecided. Robredo's rating was down by 11 points from her good positive 37 net satisfaction rating last December. 58% of the respondents three months ago said they were satisfied with her performance, 21% were dissatisfied, and 20% undecided. The survey was held as the Duterte administration and its allies in Congress attacked Robredo over her video message played at the sidelines of a United Nations event in Austria. Robredo criticized Duterte's war on drugs in the video, prompting Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez to threaten her with an impeachment complaint for alleged betrayal of public trust. He also accused her of masterminding the impeachment complaint against President Rodrigo Duterte. Administration officials took turns berating Robredo in public addresses for supposedly putting the Philippines in a bad light. It culminated in the Palit Vice or Change the Vice President rally on April 2, even after Duterte himself had publicly announced that he would not allow Robredo to be impeached. Ilocos Norte Governor Ivy Marcos and Movie and Television Review and Classification Board member and Duterte Online Defender Moka Uson are part of President Rodrigo Duterte's official delegation to the Middle East. Presidential spokesman Ernesto Abella says, quote, She has a large following among the overseas Filipino communities, especially in the Middle East, and it is in their interest that she has come to help boost morale and well-being. On Monday, Uzun posted a video of her riding the presidential plane along with cabinet members and presidential management staff personnel. Uzun, being a government official, was included in the official delegation and not the media delegation which arrived ahead of Duterte. But the Belia says Uzun is part of the foreign trip as a blogger. Marcos says she personally requested to be part of the Middle East visit to find out the situation of the overseas Filipinos there. It was during the regime of her father, the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos, when Filipino workers headed in droves to the Middle East to escape the economic crisis in the Philippines. Marcos, the eldest daughter of the late strongman, also joined Duterte's official delegation in trips to China and Singapore. North Korea slams the United States' deployment of a naval strike group to the region Tuesday, warning it is ready for war. The strike group, which includes the Nimitz-class aircraft supercarrier USS Carl Vinson, canceled a trip to Australia this weekend to head to the Korean Peninsula in a show of force. North Korea's foreign ministry says this proves that the move by the U.S. to invade the DRPK has reached a serious phase. U.S. President Donald Trump previously threatened unilateral action against Pyongyang if China fails to help curb its neighbor's nuclear weapons ambitions. 